Okay. So now we're going to put your saxophone together. So taking a look at your saxophone on the floor in the case because we don't want it in our lap. It could fall off and damage the instrument. So on the floor. Let's point to the parts of the instrument first so we know exactly what we're talking about. Here we have the body. Okay. Body. The neck. Neck. And the mouthpiece mouth and ligature. Piece the ligature. Good. Okay, the very first step of putting your saxophone together is to grab your neck strap, neck strap. which is going to be in that pocket. Go ahead and put that on. And tighten it up. You'll tighten it up more once we connect the saxophone. Okay, so with the neck strap on, we're going to take a break from it just for a second, and we're going to assemble the neck with the mouthpiece on it. So grab your neck. Yes, and you're going to hold it with the curved part facing you. Like this? Oh, no, the other way. Yeah, with the cork facing you. I guess that's how I should have said it. Okay, now take your mouthpiece without the ligature. And just slide that off. Okay, and with a gentle twisting motion, slide it on there. If you feel any resistance, you would normally cork grease it. But I think this is should be greased enough. This part down? Yes, exactly, yes. With the opening of the mouthpiece facing down. And you can kind of see where that discoloration is, where how much he has it pushed in. Or, you know, your saxophone. You would push it that far down. Three. About three quarters of the way down. A little bit more. Yeah. And then just where it's straight. So when you put it on your mouth, it's straight up and down. Three. Lined up. Okay. Good. Now take your ligature. Okay. Screws facing the right side. Right and side. on the back of the mouthpiece, right, so the reed is going to slide into that, that flat spot on your mouthpiece, okay? Just like that. And then if we had a reed, this is when you would place the reed into the ligature, making sure it's lined up from side to side and top, top to whatever. Mm -hmm. Making sure you can see the halo from the front and from the back of the little slim white piece of cane. And once that is in place, you would Twist those screws from the bottom to the top. Just until you would feel some resistance, mm -hmm. but it's going to take a while since there's no reed in there. Okay. okay, so now that we have the neck assembled, go ahead and set it back in your case. Yeah, just as you can just lay it in there, it'll be fine. Okay, grab the bell of the saxophone, which is that opening there, and then you can lift it out from the end cap just so that we're not uh, grabbing any keys as we lift it, okay? Now remove the end cap and place it back in your case because we don't want to lose that. It protects your octave mechanism while it's in the case. Okay, so we have your saxophone in your hands. Now immediately go ahead and hook it on. Okay, where do we hook it? It goes on oh. the back. You should see a yeah, little hook right there. It should just slide in, okay? And then with the neck on, it'll be easier to adjust. So let's go ahead and take the neck Okay, with the neck, the curved part facing you, you know, obviously, you would put it in twi with a twisting motion into the body. Right, and there should be a brace on the back of the neck that kind of points down, and that mm -hmm. should line up with the octave mechanism key that is sticking up. So there should be in line. This line? Yeah, right, like see that. that little triangle yeah. part of the brace? Right, yeah. And then you're going to screw the, the neck screw just until it stops. Don't don't force it or anything. Okay, good. Okay, so your saxophone's put together. Go ahead and, and put it up to your face and check your neck strap length. It should comfortably just rest against the top lip. If it's hanging, don't rest it on the chair. Yeah, is that yeah. feel okay? Oh. Yeah. yeah, okay. So let's talk about hand position really quickly. The left hand of the clarinet, we'll talk about right hand first. Right hand is going to fit right under the left, the right thumb is going to slide under that thumb wrist. And you see the pearls on top of the keys. You have two pinky keys down there to work with. Okay, and the left hand. The thumb, much like the clarinet, is going to be right over this key. And it rests right here, it actually has a little thumb rest. Oh. And it's, yeah, at a 45 degree angle to barely hit that key. And then you have some pearls here. To place your fingers. First one, yeah. Or this one. I, I believe it's that. This one. Okay. This is like an extra key. Yeah. So that's your saxophone.
and you would, you know, in playing position, you would have it out a little bit. Or if you were a saxophonist, you played to the side, then you would turn it to the side, and you would probably have to twist your mouthpiece to it, so it would still be straight. Just the mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. okay. If you were to play saxophone that way. Good. Okay. So for disassembly, it's going to be in the exact opposite order. So let's go ahead and unscrew the neck. Wiggle it off of there with a little twist. Careful not to bend anything. Very good. Okay. And go ahead and set the neck down. Just in your case will be fine. Okay. Unhook your saxophone from your neck strap. Go ahead and put the end cap back in. And then put it right back down in your case. Be careful not to mess up your neck that's already down there. Okay. And then for your neck. Holding it, yeah, just like that. Unscrew. Unscrew the ligature first, and then you would take the reed out from the bottom of that if we had a reed on. Okay, twist off the mouthpiece. Now that one's a little tight. It may could have used a little more cord, but we can keep that in mind for next time. And then put the neck back in the case. And you have assembled and disassembled your saxophone. You can go ahead and take your neck strap off. Most saxophones forget. Okay. Good job.